Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? Hello. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. How was your day today? How was your day? That was was good. Very good. Very good. Okay, nice. That is nice to know. And that was good. Okay. So let me share my screen. Just a moment. Thank you so much for being here on time. Okay, Brenda, Sandra, Xiomara, Manuel, Natalie, Roberto, Karen. Very good. Thank you for being on time, okay? Por estar puntuales. Okay. <clears throat> Can you see my screen? Yes or not? Okay. Um today it is June 6, 2023, okay? This is the class number 6. Today we're going to review the other of frequency, lesson objective, conversate. We are going to have a conversation at the end to practice. And we are going to work in um, we're going to work in the in the material, okay, the material that we have. Um we're going to complete this the unit one and part of the unit two. At the end of this class, you will be able to apply adverbs of frequency in your sentences, okay? So we have here uh, the adverb of frequency. We're going to make a review. Okay, I will give you one minute. Try to think, okay? Uh, just I will give you one. For example, what will be the, the in the first place? Mm -hmm. Do you think that is always in the first place? That you always do that. Try to I always always go to work. I uh -huh, I always go to work. Uh huh. Always eat. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. I always eat. Always take a shower. Uh huh. You always take a shower. Very good. So every every uh. Since or daily routines, right, that you do there for every day, always. Okay. What which one do you think that will be in the second place? Um usually. Usually? Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you do? Uh what okay, how you can use this other frequency? I usually mm -hmm. 
uh, usually visit to the doctor. But if you go a lot to the doctor, I, I usually, but if you, if you go maybe what, two or three times a year, that will be hardly ever. I usually mm -hmm. I usually go to the restaurant uh Pizza Hut, for example. That you usually do that. Maybe you go every weekend. Uh -huh. I usually work on Saturdays, okay, usually, not always, but usually, yes. Okay, very good. That is another example. Which one do you think that will be the third one? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, maybe that will be in the first place. Okay, never will be in the seventh place because you know that is that is never. So you never do that. Okay. What about uh, often? Often que no sería el número tres, no. Okay. We're going to move it like that. Third place, often, and four sometimes. Okay. Very good. This one, which one is first? Hardly ever or rarely? Which one is the fifth? Fifth place. Which one do you think? Rarely, seldom. Rarely, seldom. Rarely, seldom. And? Rarely, ever. And hardly ever. Okay, let's check. Okay, that was good. Very good. Okay. So now, um, do you have questions about this adverse of frequency? We're going to use them later on. Do you have questions? Mm -hmm. What is hardy? I'm sorry? Why hardly? Hardly ever. It's, it's like a... Uh, it's como que está muy difícil que yo haga eso, pero a veces pasa. A veces lo hago. Mm -hmm. That is the meaning of that uh, uh, frequency adverb. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Only that? <coughs> Okay, very good. Well, thank you so much uh, for your participation here. Let me move on. Later on, we're going to see these examples, okay? <clears throat> okay, good. So now we're going to move on to the activity uh, that we have pending from yesterday. Very good.
we have uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, very good. The one that already participated here. So I'm going to read okay the paragraph now and we are going to work together. You are going to help me to identify um mistakes in case we have mistakes and we're going to um provide the feedback, okay? <clears throat> okay. ¿La letra está bien de ese tamaño o la necesitan más grande? Is it okay? It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Daily routines Judith of Judith. Okay. What will be another way that we can say daily routines of Judith? Mm -hmm. Okay, another way will be primero el nombre, Judith, apostrophe, daily routine. Okay, so we are uh, saying the same, okay? Judith's daily routine. It sounds better, right? Okay, Judith says, I get up there, I, I get up. Mm, is that necessary Add the, the letter S? Estoy hablando de, está hablando de I, como primera persona, yo. Es necesario utilizar get, eh, la, la S acá, yes or not? No. No, no, no. No, okay. So we're going to remove or we are going to touch that, okay? I get that every day at 4.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. I take or do I take? She did you. Oh, okay. If we are talking she. about she, yes. Pero si estamos hablando de I, no, okay? No, no le agregamos ese, okay? I take a shower. No, I take. I take a shower at 5 a.m. Y luego dice, she eat. Aquí, sí. Okay. okay. Entonces, aquí hubo yes. un error. Sí, teacher, me equivoqué. Es que yo estaba hablando de ella. Entonces, ahí sería she. Okay. Vamos. Sorry. It's okay, no problem. Okay, she gets up uh, every day at 4.30 a.m. She takes a shower at 5 a.m. She eats breakfast at 6.30 a.m. Then she brushes el que se cepilla. ¿Qué le falta algo? Uh -huh. Hair. 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 And I start working at 7 a.m. Uh -huh. She takes her lunch at 12.40 a.m. And then she... No confundan las... las um, Let's pronouns, okay? And then she goes back to work in the evening. No repitamos mucho then. Si podemos usar otras, uh, otras connectors, like a links word, it's okay. In the afternoon, she drinks water. And when he retires, Mm. retires he cleans his area and here we are going to change this bird finish and when she finishes her work 
she cleans. Estamos hablando de she or he. Hair. Hair area. Okay. That's it. Okay. Good. Who is who wrote this? ¿Quién la escribió esta? Y teacher Natalie. Natalie. Okay. Good job, Natalie. Okay. Uh, who wrote this one? Daily routine of Griselda. Uh huh. ¿Quién escribió esta? Me too. Me. Brenda. Brenda. Ok, Brenda. Griselda. Will be Griselda's daily routine. <clears throat> uh -huh. she, wake, she wakes up at 4.50 a.m. Then she takes a shower. Okay. She takes a shower. Uh -huh. she, she takes a shower after. Uh -huh. After. Sin la H. After that, she gets dresses. Uh-huh. Around, around 5.30 a.m. After that she takes, after that she takes the, the bus at, at 5.45 a.m. And ar arrives, que le falta la S, arrives her job at 6.20 a.m. Also, she starts her breakfast Mm, or she eats. Uh -huh. She eats her breakfast at 6 40 a.m. And she start she start working at 7 20 a.m. Vamos a utilizar otra palabra aquí. Then then She check, checks, no necesitamos la S, solo la S. Others, co-workers job. Co-workers, co-workers jobs. Okay. Very good. Okay, we're going to write <clears throat> oh, we are still missing information there. Then then she have uh -huh. she have or she has has she has she lunch has. at 11.45 a.m., okay? She goes home at 5.50 p.m. at night. Oh, a key period, capital letter. At night, she studies English. Uh -huh. English from 7 from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Finally, two. Finally, 
she she tells a sleep uh, how will be better here she goes to bed at 10 p.m. Okay. Good. We'll be here. Um, Brenda's. Yes. So Joe Brenda. You are doing a good job, okay? Uh, estamos aprendiendo. I understand. So it's okay. Um, you can make mistakes now because you are learning. Um, Thank you. Teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let me see this one. Daily routine of Natalie. Natalie. Natalie, who works on this one? ¿Quién trabaja en esto? Mi teacher. Judith? Yes. Okay, Judith. <laughs> Done by you, D. Okay. She gets up every day at 4 a.m. She takes a shower at 4 a.m. Uh huh. She eats breakfast at 6 a.m. Then, uh, then uh, she brushes her teeth. Uh -huh. She starts working at 7 a.m. She takes her lunch at 12, uh, 40 a.m. She goes back to work in the afternoon. Okay. Period. In the afternoon, she, li she likes listen to music. Okay, she likes to listen to music. Okay, very good. So, very good job. Let me see. Okay, ahorita no importa que no usemos conectores, pero podemos usar una coma para dividir las oraciones. Eh, luego, later on, we're going to see like a linking words, en palabras que hacen como unión de la idea para que usted vaya buscando la estructura a su párrafo, ¿ok? But now it's okay, don't worry. It's okay in this way. That was very good. <laughs> Natalie. No, Judith, ¿ok? Okay, let me see. Daily routine of Roberto Guzman, Evelyn Garcia. Evelyn. Okay, let me just read. Daily routine. He gets up at 4.30 a.m. every day. He takes a shower at 5 a.m. He, le he leaves his house at six at, at 5.30 a.m. And he drives to work at 6 a.m. Okay. Robert takes his breakfast at 7 a.m. in the cafeteria. Then he continues. Okay, le agregamos ese. Porque es he, okay? He continues his work. Aquí no lleva ese porque es un nombre. Es casual. Y 
Ok, no dejamos espacio ahí. He comes back home at 6 p.m. after he feeds his dog. He checks his messages. Uh -huh. And he talks with his family. He likes spelling here. Le falta una, una T. He likes uh, watching. Aquí le agregamos ING. Aquí porque ya el, el primer verbo ya está. He likes watching series and movies. Ok. Cuando, cuando van a utilizar, digamos acá, después de likes, el siguiente verbo puede ir como con ING y se convierte en nombre. He likes watching TV. Uh, series and movies. His, co his favorite color, aquí le cambiamos, es un poco diferente que el español. His favorite color is blue. He likes to go shopping. Uh -huh. Muy bien utilizado acá. Uh, he, he likes to go shopping with his friend. And finally, okay, here we go. Finally, he likes, okay, after, yeah, we, we use a comma. After finally, he likes to go jogging. Mm -hmm. Very good job here. Okay, muy bien. Was wow. really good. Evelyn? Thanks. Yes. Okay. Let me see. I des daily routines. Who work on I des daily routines? ¿Quién trabajo aquí? Yo. Sandra. Sí. Okay. She gets, gets up around 5 a.m. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le faltaría acá? Then she. ¿Qué quiso decir ahí? She changes. ¿Te cambia? Sí, sí, te cambias. She, get, cambia. she gets dressed. Okay, she gets dressed. Then she goes to work. She starts work, start working. At 7 a.m., she has breakfast at 9 a.m. and lunch at 1 p.m. She gets home at 6 p.m. and prepares dinner. Yeah. Dinner with her family. Her. Her family. She goes to class. Or oh, she takes. She takes English. She takes English classes from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Monday to Friday. De, de lunes a, a viernes, ok. From Monday to Friday, period. And she goes to sleep at 10 p.m. Ok. Ok, very good job. Very good job, very good job. Standard, right? Thank you. Okay, let me go to Evelyn's routines. 
by Roberto Guzman. If you have noise in your house, you can mute your microphone. If I ask you to participate, uh, yes. Thank you, guys. Uh, okay, e Evelyn's routines, okay. Done by Robert. Okay, she takes up at 4, 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. She takes a shower at 4.40 a.m. She goes to take the bath at 5.53 a.m. She arrives to work at 6.30 a.m. And she takes a breakfast at 6.40 a.m. At, at 11 a.m. o'clock, Mm -hmm. She takes, sorry, she takes a lunch, her um, period here, her favorite color, porque aquí vamos a hablar de otra idea, ok, dividamos okay. las ideas por puntos, her favorite color is white, ok, sin capital letters, porque no estamos, no, no tenemos punto. Cuando tenemos un punto, yes, we can use capital letters. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. She loves listen to music. Esa es como regla que después de listen, va a ir to. She loves listen to music. Huh? She has, porque estamos hablando en presente. She has two kids. Wait. Mm -hmm. She lives uh, in, 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 in San Pedro, Mazawa. Los nombres de lugares siempre van a llevar uh, capital letters. San Pedro, Mazawa. And she goes to church on Sundays. Okay. Very good. Robert. Okay. That was good. Thank you so much. Okay, let me see Selena's done by Diana, right? Okay, Selena's daily routine. Diana. Okay, Selena gets up at 4 a.m. She takes the bath at 4 a.m. Okay, la diferencia entre take the shower and take a bath is que si usted toma, toma un baño, uh, cuando decimos takes a shower, es con la regadera, ¿ok? Normal. But when we take the bath, nos metemos a una tina y nos estamos ahí. Lleva más tiempo, take the bath. ¿Ok? Entonces... Quisiera. <laughs> <Get out. laughs> okay, she takes she takes a shower at 4 a.m. He okay, she in this case. She lives mm, she De... Si estamos hablando que ella se va en bicicleta, ¿cómo sería? Uh -huh. Her, she rides her, her bicycle, bicycle at 5 a.m. Se va en bicicleta, toma su bicicleta y se va en bicicleta. Uh -huh. Then, she... 
takes the bus. ¿O cómo es? Se va en bicicleta a la parada. Yes. Yes. Se sale en bicicleta de su casa para la parada. Oh. Del autobús. Ok, ok. She rides a bicycle at again, then she takes the bus. Ok. She takes the bus to go. To go. Her workplace. Hmm. She eat his breakfast at six thirty a.m. Then she goes to work area to the work area. She eats her lunch. Okay, acuérdense cuando es algo de ella es her. Cuando es de él es his, okay? She eats her lunch at, at 11.45 a.m. Performs ergonomics at 3 p.m. Uh, what do you mean? ¿Qué quiere decir aquí? Eh, que realiza esta rutina de ejercicios ergonómicos. Es una actividad que ella hace que se llama uh, ergonomics. Right? Es como un task que ella hace a esa hora. Sí, teacher. Okay. Son ejercicios sí. ergonómicos. Uh, y perdone mi, mi, mi falta de conocimiento. Uh, pero esos ejercicios, ¿cómo lo hace? Suena una es pista. Es un momento. Ajá. Suena una Ay. pista y tenemos que pararnos para hacer los ejercicios. Oh. Son rutinas de ejercicios ergonómicos oh. dos okay. veces al día. Ah, okay. how, how long? ¿Cuántos minutos? No más de cinco o diez. Sí. Okay. Uh, in this case, will be cheating, oh. I'm sorry if you listen noise. Lo siento se escuchan ruido, okay? Porque uh, there is a bakery here around my house. Entonces mm -hmm. siempre traen unos camiones grandes con, con producto para la bakery. Entonces, uh, there are a lot of noise. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So that will be the, the, the correct way. Okay. She does ergonomic exercises at 3 p.m. Okay. And what do you want? What do you want yes. to say here? ¿Qué quiere decir aquí? Sale del trabajo a las 4 de y 33. Ok. In that case will be just, uh, you can use finally. Finally, she leaves her work at 4.33 p.m. Ok. And that will be, okay, that will be the, the, the observations that I had for you.
Good job, Diana. Okay, pay attention to the observations, okay? Okay, let me see who is missing. Janira, okay. Janira, <coughs> daily routines. <coughs> okay, uh, usted lo escribió ayer, ¿verdad? Okay, uh, she was writing about Karina. She says, Karina gets up at five o'clock. Uh, she takes, we'll be here. She takes a bath. ¿Cuál dijimos, ¿Qué dijimos que era la diferencia? Uh -huh. She takes a shower and gets up and gets dressed at six o'clock. She takes the bath. Um, it's not necessary to add this information, that information, like I wrote. She takes the bath to work. Uh huh. She has breakfast with her friends at work, uh, and then goes to to her work area at twelve on the dock or o'clock. You can say o'clock. She has lunch and waits 45 minutes to go back to work. She leaves work, her work at five. Okay, five p.m. Finally, you can use that. That is like a linking work. Finally at seven o'clock. Okay. Seven PM o'clock she receives classes from seven to nine. Okay. Mm, si ya le estamos diciendo aquí from seven PM to nine PM is not necessary to add at night. Necesario agregar a la a, a que es en la noche, porque ya sabemos que es en la noche, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, very good. Let me see. Okay, let me see Diana's daily routine. Okay, recuérdense que todavía lo pueden editar. Si usted quiere seguir, si quiere editarlo en este momento, hágalo, okay? Tiene observaciones que usted puede um, seguir. Diana's daily routines. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? I am. Uh, esta es como una pregunta, entonces aquí tendríamos que cerrar la pregunta. Si le estamos preguntando a alguien, What time do you get up? Ok. Um, ¿cómo se, si usted quiere responder, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? I get up at Five a.m. Right? Okay. Let me see the rest. What time do you do you get up? Usted le está haciendo preguntas aquí. No me no me hizo un par. No me hizo como preguntas, respuestas. Supongo. Okay. Aquí cerraríamos el 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 signo de preguntas. Si usted le está preguntando eso. What time do you get up? La respuesta fue a las cinco. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Sí. Yes. Sí, ok. Si usted está respondiendo, hagámoslo como que yo me, yo estoy, me estoy preguntando que a, a qué hora se levanta ella y ella me, me responde. Digamos, what time does she... 
Get up. She gets up at five a.m. Esa sería mi re la respuesta que yo recibí de ella. Yo estoy informando lo que ella me dijo. She takes the wind. Uh, ¿Qué significa esto? What do you want to say? Eh, quería decir tomar el baño, pero como dijo, de la, que se refería a latina, ¿no? Entonces nos equivocamos ahí. Ok. Tomar el baño. Ok. ¿Cómo le, pre cómo pregunta le preguntaría a usted a ella a qué hora se baña? What time shower. do you take the shower? Pero los, ahora vamos a informar sí, sí, cómo sí. Le, que nosotros le preguntamos a ella. What time does she take shower? ¿Qué hora ella toma el baño? Ajá. Uh -huh. She takes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ten. Five ten. At five mm -hmm. ten again. Okay, esa sería la respuesta. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Se alista o se prepara o así. ¿Cómo sería la I? She gets ready. To work or to go, to go uh -huh. at work. Then she takes the bus at five. 40 a.m. Close the mic. Uh, uh, mute if you have noise in your house, please. Okay. Then she arrives at work. Mm -hmm. At 6.50. Yeah. <coughs> she eats. ¿Cómo sería el verbo eat? E A T S. She eats breakfast. Breakfast. At eight a.m. Okay. Vamos a hacer un párrafo. Estas oraciones las, las podemos dividir por coma, por puntos. Si todavía no podemos utilizar eh, linking words, ¿ok? Las vamos a dividir por comas o por puntos. Si todavía no podemos utilizar linking words. Linking words son las que unen los, las ideas. She makes a list of, the, of her activities. Una lista de sus actividades. To do. Ah, ok. Tenemos otro aquí. She does ergonomic exercises. At 10. A.M. Ok. She sends. Then. And después. She sends. Ella envía. She sends. Richard. ¿Sí? El de 10 de la mañana no son ejercicios. Esas son evaluaciones ergonómicas. Oh, ok.
evaluaciones. Yes. Ok, ya vamos a ver esa idea. Then she sent reports, evaluation reports. Ok. Then she sends evaluation report. Sí, sería. Ok. Yes. She eat lunch at 12 30 p.m. Ok, nos quedamos ahí. Ok. Yes. She, then she, ok, estamos hablando de que envía evaluaciones de reportes. Supongo que crear reportes de lo que hacen o lo que hacen y los envía. ¿Está sí. correcto? Ok. Sí, sí. Ok. Okay. You have the ideas, tenía las ideas, pero necesitaba estructurar. Le hice estas preguntas aquí porque usted me estaba haciendo forma de pregunta, pero este, no era necesario hacer forma de pregunta. La información que yo pedía era solo la respuesta a las preguntas que le habían hecho. Ok, borramos esto, borramos las preguntas y nos quedamos solo con las respuestas. Ok, vea cómo queda. She gets up at 5 a.m. She takes a shower okay. at 10 a.m. and so on. Ok, solo las ideas de las respuestas que nos dieron. Very good. So let me see who is missing. ¿Quién me falta? Ok, me falta... Me falta Brenda. Daily routines. Who wrote that? ¿Quién me escribió esa, esa uh, daily routines? De Brenda. Yo. Griselda. Sí. Ok. Let me see, Griselda. She, she wakes up at 4 a.m. Then she cuts her lunch. Ok, vamos a editar. Recuérdense, cuando no tenemos punto antes, no es necesario utilizar eh, letra capital. Ok. Si tenemos un punto, sí. She wakes up at 4 uh, a.m. Then she, she cooks her lunch. After that, after that, uh, she takes the bus at 5.30 a.m. Also, muy bien, aquí ya me está usando, um, me está usando linking words. Also, she eats her, her breakfast at 6 a.m. Uh -huh. Then she starts to work at 7.20 a.m. And... She has lunch at 1.15 p.m. Uh -huh. After her lunch, she continues, continues working. After that, ok, aquí estamos usando el mismo linking work, pero está bien, ok, a, ahorita, pero luego si sí, vamos a aprender a usar diferente, no usar el mismo. After that, she goes home at 5 p.m. and she has dinner at 6 p.m. with her son. Ok, very good. Then... She studied English from 7 to 9 p.m. Before going to bed, que le falta una de, she cleans her kitchen. Okay, muy importante eso. And she 
girls sleep at 10 45 25 p.m okay that was good very good um Someone who is missing for this activity. ¿Quién me falta? Mm -hmm. Griselda, right? Griselda wrote this. That was excellent, Griselda. Okay, um, who is missing? ¿Qué me falta? Aquí solo tengo uno, dos, tres, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Who is missing? Someone is missing? Ok, y si, si no ha terminado, me lo hace para mañana because it's really important. If I give you feedback, si les digo que necesitan mejorar, ustedes van a mejorar. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Este, yo no hice la tarea, yo no entré ayer a la clase. No. No, okay, no sabía entonces... de Está bien, Isabel. Entonces, para mañana, usted, eh, ¿con quién quiera trabajar? Elija uno de sus compañeros y lo va a entrevistar. Puede entrevistar por WhatsApp para que me haga ese párrafo para mañana, ¿ok? Ok. Entonces, okay. no sé si Brenda quiere hacerlo conmigo, la tarea. Ok, Brenda. Yo, you can answer Isabel questions. Usted le, le responde a las preguntas que ella le haga. Lo pueden hacer después de la clase, ¿ok? Y quien lo va a hacer es Isabel. Usted no, ya solo le, le ayuda a ella a responder, ¿ok? It's ok. Thank you, Brenda. Ok, that was good job, guys. The purpose of that is just check if you are using a uh, third person in the correct way. Um, muchos... Eh, Les falta un poquito, pero ahí vamos, okay? So we are doing a good job. So do you remember this? Estos son los verbos y las reglas que debemos utilizar when we use third person. Okay, uh, let me take the attendance first. Voy a tomar la, la asistencia. In order we can continue. Astrid Abigail. Astrid, Aide, here teacher, thank you, Brenda Elizabeth, here teacher, Selena Janet, present teacher, okay, uh, Diana, present teacher, thank you, Evelyn, present, Griselda. Griselda Yamilet. Here, sí. Thank you. Isabel Rocío. Present. Thank you. Karen Patricia. Present, teacher. Lilian Elizabeth. Lilian. Luis Américo. Luis. Solo lo vi los primeros días a Luis. Manuel Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Ah, Manuel, su párrafo. No lo, no lo veo. Huh. I will wait, okay? Voy a esperar por ese párrafo. 
Huh, Natalie Marilyn? Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Eliseo? Robert Antonio? Present. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Sandra Jamilet? Present teacher. Okay, Veronica Guadalupe? Vero? No. When did you did? Present teacher. Okay. Xiomara? Elizabeth? Xiomara? Yo veo que está conectada. Yanira? Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Oh, me dijo que iba a estar solo de oyente, está en el trabajo. Ok, Xiomara. Thank you so much. Ok, uh, very good. Ok, we're going to continue. Ok, here we have the adverbs of frequency, ok? We have more here. Tengo algunos extras de los que vimos. Um, tenemos aquí como el, el porcentaje, ok? I will send this link to you. Les voy a enviar el link para que escuchen la, la pronunciación. Porque yo no la puedo reproducir porque mmm, no es permitido reproducir audio de, de YouTube. Um, as you can see here, we have a hundred percent that is always okay. We have an, an example here. I always wake up at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. 90% usually. I usually come home after work. Mm -hmm. 80% that it could be normally or generally. I normally swim after school. Okay. 70%. I often or frequently, I often spend Christmas with friends. Okay. 50% that is sometimes. I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. Okay, occasionally, I occasionally eat Vietnamese food, okay, ocasionalmente, okay, and seldom is, I seldom go to the library, okay, casi nunca, pero a veces, okay, I rarely, rara vez, okay, I rarely listen to the radio, and we have 0% that is never, okay? I never listen rock music. Who wants to try to read the examples that we have? Okay, I will read that the, the adverse of frequency again. Always, usually, normally or generally, often, frequently. Sometimes, occasionally, seldom, rarely, never. So never por el grito. Mm -hmm. Never, always, usually. Mm -hmm. Normally. Often. Okay, let me send the link. You can, okay, let me send it, copy. <clears throat> okay, Natalie. Okay, I'll send the link to you. 
you can reproduce the link. It has three minutes and 37 seconds. Listen to the pronunciation, okay? Adverbs of frequency. Mute. An you adverb have... frequency tells us how often something takes place. Guys, mute. ¿Lo escuchamos o no? Yes, please. Pero en mute, porque no puedo reproducir el audio en el video, ¿ok? You have four, mi four minutes to do it. Tiene cuatro minutos. Okay, let me know when you are ready. Okay. Okay, está fallando el inter, pero no veo el nombre. Póngale el nombre a su, wa, a su WhatsApp para verlo. Quienes me escriben. Me cuesta identificar a veces por eso. Pero supongo que era the same student that wrote here that was Natalie, Marilyn, que empezó a llover, dice.
Ready, guys? ¿Terminaron? Did you finish? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Very good. Who wants to read this? Okay. Quiero que me lean todas las oraciones. Just to listen to you. Just to listen to your pronunciation. How you read the adverse of frequency. Y vean dónde va ubicado en la oración. Okay. Siempre va antes del verbo. Después del sujeto. O pronombre. Who wants to read the sentences? ¿Quién me quiere leer las oraciones? Ok, Robert. Go ahead, Robert. Ok. I always wake up at 6 o'clock. I usually come home after work. Ok. I normally swing after school. I often spend Christmas with friends. Mm -hmm. I something play tennis on the weekend. I occasionally eat Vietnamese cheese, Vietnamese food. I seal down, go to the library. I rarely listen to the radio and I never listen to rock music. Okay, very good. Occasionally? Occasionally. What is what is a span? I'm sorry? What is a span? A span? In Spanish. Uh is uh, like uh share time, pasar tiempo, compartir tiempo. Gastar ese oh. tiempo. Por ejemplo, Christmas time, you spend Christmas time with your family, right? También es como spend, es also eh, cuando es dinero, gastar dinero, ok? Uh, uh, but also is, is uh, spend time, es también gastar el tiempo con alguien. Es que si tenía entendido que era gastar, por eso me tenía la duda. Uh -huh. Pero este aplica en los dos escenarios. Ok. Ok. Good. Ok. Seldom, rarely, occasionally. Ok. Very good job. Thank you, Robert. Someone okay. else? Uh, Brenda, do you want to participate? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Please. I always wake up at six o'clock. I usually come home after work. I normally swim after school. I often spend Christmas with friends. I sometimes play Tennis on the working. I occasion, occasionally, I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. I send and go to the library. I rarely listen to the radio. I never listen to rock music. Thank you so much. Okay. Occasionally. Repeat this one. Occasionally. Occasionally. Mm -hmm. Occasionally. Yes. Occasionally. Good. Yes. Vietnamese. 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 Vietnamese food. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese food. Vietnamese Lib food. Yes. Library. Library. Uh -huh. Library. Library no es una librería, ¿ok? Es una biblioteca en inglés. Library. Uh -huh. Es una biblioteca. Eh, librería es, es una store books. ¿Ok? 
or books store. Yeah, it is a book store. Okay, good. Um, yes, rarely and seldom. Seldom, rarely. Okay. Very good. Good job here. Someone else who wants to practice? ¿Quién más quiere practicar? Mm -hmm. Pay attention to this because you're going to do exercises. You're going to do sentences. You're going to write sentences. You see, okay, using this adverse of frequency, okay? Similar examples. That is why I need that you pay attention to the examples that you can see here, okay? Another questions that you may have about vocabulary, someone else who wants to practice. Alguien más quiere practicar? No? Okay, we're going to move on. We have here a conversation. It has questions, yes, no questions, information questions. It has simple present and adverse of frequency. I want that you uh, read the conversation. It is like a review, okay? We're going to read the conversation and then we're going to practice, okay? I need volunteers to practice. I'm going to use the, the will of names, la ruleta, to select the, the winners. I will read it first for you. Yes, hello, can I ask you some questions? Yes, you can. Ask me many questions as you want. Thank you for taking the time. Um, now, the first question, what, what do you do? I'm a graphic designer. I design magazines, brochures, and websites. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your wife do? She is a teacher. What does she teach? She teaches in a public a school in Chennai. Do you have children? Yes. Uh, we have two children, a boy and a girl. Do you watch movies occasionally? I don't really like movies. I prefer re to read a book. What type of books do you read? Yeah. I really like detective novels. Who is your favorite writer? Agatha Christie. Do you exercise? Yes, I'm very health conscious. How often do you exercise? I exercise at least four times a week. I go to a private gym so my wife and I can work out whenever we want to. Do you like to go to the, do you like to go on a holidays? Of course, I do, but I rarely go on vacations. I have a crazy working schedule that prevents me from taking holidays. Okay, read it and tell me if you have questions about this. ¿Tienen preguntas? Dígame, por favor, voy a estar creando la ruleta ahorita. Read it, léanlo. Conceals, ¿cómo se pronuncia conceals? Conscious. 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 Yeah, we are graphic designer, design brochures. Brochures and we sign the marriage. This is public cinema occasion and I prefer like my perfect written book. I like the novels. I want to have a book. 
final. I'm ¿Cómo, se, ¿cómo se pronuncia graphics? Graphics. Graphics. Graphic. Graphic designer. Graphic designer. Graphic designer. Okay. I'm Acá donde dice Alex, yes, I'm very heal conscious. So, ¿Cómo es, teacher? I'm very health. Health es salud. Ok, salud. Uh -huh. salud Restatar saludable. Health conscious. Conscient. Conscious. 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 Mm. Teacher, yes. eh, donde dice en la parte de la esquina, I dating magazines, Mag no sé, es... I design, ah, design. I design. diseño, I design magazines. Mm. Okay, I have ready my wheel. I need two, two, okay? I will spin the wheel twice. Voy a hacerla dos veces para sacar a los two volunteers, a los two winners. No, no, ¿quién es? No, yo me equivoqué aquí. ¿Quién es Dima? Iba a poner... ¿Qué iba a poner aquí? Dina. Quiere 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14. Yeah, we're, we are okay. No sé, esa estaba de más. Okay, Griselda is the first one. Let's see who will be the next, the second one. Hey there. Okay, Natalie dice que no entiende que no está lloviendo, que no escucha. Eh, está bien entiendo ok um, ok ready ok teacher who wants to be the first one Peter hello and I You saw the question. ¿Puedo repetir el sujeto, teacher, o no es necesario? No, no digan el nombre del sujeto, del, del, de la persona aquí, solo desde acá, del, desde los dos puntos, ¿ok? Ok. Hello, can I ask you some Can I ask as many questions as you want? Thank you for taking mm -hmm. time. Hello. Tenemos dos, ¿verdad? Somos, son dos. ¿Quién fue la perdón. primera que, que me salió? Perdón, perdón. ¿Quién fue la primera perdón. que me salió? Aide. ¿Usted fue la sí, primera? Perda. ¿Y quién? ¿Quién Cristo. fue la segunda? Ajá, ¿do you remember quién fue la segunda? Yo, yo fui. ¿Quién fue la segunda? Sorry. Griselda en Aide. Ajá, Griselda en Aide. Who wants to be the, uh, the, the first one that is Peter? 
Okay, I'm sorry. I there will be Peter and Griselda will be Alex. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Hello. Okay. Hello. Can I ask you some a question? Yes, you can ask as many questions as you want. Thank, thank you for taking the time. Now, the first question, what do you do? I am a graphic designer. I design magazines, brochures, and websites. Are you married? Yes, I am. Are you married? <laughs> yes, I am. What does your wife? Do she's a teacher. Where does she teach? She teach at the public school in Chennai. Chennai. Mm -hmm. Chennai. Do you have any children? Children? Yes. Yes, we have two children. A boy and a girl. Do you watch movies? Occasionally, I am not really like movies. I prefer to read books. What type of books do you read? I really like detective novels. Who is your favorite writer? Agatha Christie. Do you exercise? Yes, I am very healthy, Costi. Who often do you exercise? Costi. I exercise at least four times a week. I go to a private, private gym. Right. So my private gym so my wife and I can work out can work out whenever do you like I, pardon. do you like to, to do on, on, only day of course I do but we really go on vacation I have a crazy working schedule that Prevent, prevent me from taking holiday. Finish. Thank you so much. Very good. Good job. Okay. Occasionally. Just repeat that one. Occasionally. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Public. School, public school. Public school. Yes, very good job here. Questions? Do you have questions about vocabulary? Mm. No? Yo, teacher. Yes? Esa palabra, type. Yo creo que así se pronuncia. T, Y, P, E. What type of books? Oh, type. ¿Qué tipos? Type. Ah, tipos. Okay. El tipo de libro. Okay. Type. Okay. Very good. We're going to see who are the winner. Vamos a tocar otros ganadores. Okay. Another two winners. Okay, Janira. Bueno, si Omara está solo de oyente, no me puede participar. Salvada. Let me see who will be the next one. Isabel. 
Okay, Janira will be the first one and Isabel will be Alex. Janira? Janira? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Hello. Yes, you can ask uh, many questions as you want. Thank you for taking the time. Now, the first question What did you do? I am um, a uh, graphic graphic des designer designer graphic designer i des design magazine brochures on um, with website 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 are you are you maria yes i am what does your wife do? She's a teacher. Where does she teach? She teaches at a public school in Chennai. Do you have uh, children? Yes, we have two children. A boy and a girl. Do you watch movies? Occasionally, I am not real, really like movies. I prefer to read a book. What kind of books do you read? I really like that. Detective movie novels, novel, novels, novels. novels. <laughs> what, what is your favorite greeting? Greeting writer, Ryan <laughs> Agatha Christie. Do you uh, exercise? Yes, I'm very. Deals conscious. Health, health conscious. Health conscious. How often do you exercise? I exercise at least four times a week. I go to a private, private gym. Private gym. So my week. And wife. I can wife wife my, my wife and I can work or we never we can too. Do you like to go on a holiday? Of holiday. course I do but we really really Rarely go to vacation. I have a crazy working schedule that schedule that prevents me from taking holiday. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Good. Thank you so much for uh participate so good practice so we're going to learn okay uh step by steps okay don't worry no se preocupen si ahorita ustedes sienten que les cuesta but you are going to improve okay if you practice you improve okay um are you married yes i am okay very good. Someone else who wants to participate, volunteers, digamos, sin la ruleta. ¿Quién quiere participar? Okay. 
Uh -huh. okay, okay, Robert, sure. Robert and Brenda, Evelyn. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, vamos a ver. Evelyn and Brenda. Okay, Robert. Vamos a dejarlo para después. Okay. Okay, Evelyn, you will be Peter and Brenda will be Alex. Go ahead. Evelyn, you will be Peter. Oh. Hello. Can I ask you some question? Yes, you can ask a many question as you want. Thank you for taking the time now. The first question, what do you do? I am a graphic designer. I design magazine, virtual and websites. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your wife do? She is a teacher. Where does she teach? She teaches at a public school in China. Do you have any children? Yes, we have two children, a boy and a girl. Do you watch movies? Occasionally, I am not really like movies. I prefer to read a book. What type of book do you read? I really like detective, detective movies, novels. Which is paper white? Agatha Christie. Do you exercise? Yes, I am very conscious, conscious. How often do you exercise? I exercise at least four times a week. I go to a private gym so my wife and I can work all whenever we want to. Do you like to go on a holiday? Of course I do, but we really go you really go on vacation. I have a crazy working. Child that apprentice me from thinking holidays. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I have observations. Uh, okay, graphic designer. Okay, graphic designer. I design magazines, brochures, and websites. Also, uh, let me see what is the other one. Public, public school. Okay, public schools. Public school. Uh -huh. Rarely, we rarely go on vacations, but I have a, I have a crazy working schedule. Working schedule. Okay, schedule, schedule. is like a todo el calendario que ustedes tienen de actividades. Okay, en su trabajo. Schedule. Schedule. Hmm. But then, very good job. Thank you so much. Okay, good practice. Buena practica. I like it. Okay, for the rest, do you have questions? Tienen preguntas? Okay, if you don't have questions, so we're going to move on. Vamos a movernos de acá. Ahí we have another exercise here. Tenemos otro ejercicio. De los frequency adverbs. We have a scramble exercises. Now I want that you order the sentences. So what will be the first one? First part. She. She always. She always. She always. She always. Get. 
Ever eat fast food? Okay, good. What? What? What time? Usually. Usually. What time? Usually. Usually. Work. 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 Finish work. What time do you usually finish work? Yes. Mm -hmm. My my parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. Oh. Often. 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 My parents. My parents. My parents don't know of them. Si fuera don, estuviera bien aquí. No, don't mueva para los often, para que mueva el often. Okay, this one is the first one. Esta es la primera, right? My often, my parting often. My often. My often phone. My phone. Miss Buddy. My parents done. Listen. Or my parents often. My parents don't listen them often. 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 Awesome. Okay. Do the room radio. My parents don't know listen often to the radio. Mm -hmm. It's not correct. My parents don't know. Okay, we're going to do it at the end. Mama. What about this one? My, my brother. My brother. My brother always. 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 Yes. Yes. Always. Always. At lunch time. Okay, good. What about this one? We, 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 we don't do all the way. No, we don't. We don't always. We don't always do all the way. We don't always. Do you always do always our homework? We don't we always, always do, do homework. Do our homework. homework. We don't always do our homework. Uh -huh. Do 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 you do you? <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Do you drive? Drive. 
do you dry every, every, every day? Oh, to work? To work every day. Every day. Oh. 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 Always. Oh, teacher. Oh, Drink, 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 coffee, coffee, my brother is a squad. There is one, but let me. How the teacher always. This one is my parents. My parents of them. Of them. them. Some of them. Miss them. Perfect. Okay, show answers. She always get up, gets up at, at six. I never late for class, okay? I never late for class. We hardly ever eat fast food. What time do you usually finish work? Usually. Mm -hmm. My mother is My brother is always hungry and long time. We don't always do our homework. No siempre hacemos las tareas. Uh -huh. We don't always do our homework. Do you try to work every day? Our teacher always drink coffee in the morning. Okay, we have here uh, positive sentences. Tenemos también negativas y tenemos preguntas. Okay. This is a positive sentence. This is a, a positive sentence. We are hardly ever eat fast food. Positive. What time do you usually eat finish work? This is a question. My, bro my brother is always hungry at long lunch times. That is um, it's po positive. This is negative. We don't always do our homework. Okay, it's una post es una negativa. Do you write? Do you try to work every mo every day? This is a question. Uh, our teacher always drink coffee in the morning. Positive. And my parents don't often listen to the radio. Don't often listen to the radio. So that is a negative. So, significa que con los adverbs of frequency we can use in different ways, in positive, negative, and equations too, okay? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de acá? Sí, yo, teacher. Yes? La pronunciación de our, o sea, nuestro. Okay, our. Resta. Bien. Our. Uh -huh. Let me... Déjeme la ponérsela en el, en el diccionario. Okay. Hour. Uh -huh. Hour. A-U-R, ¿va? Hour. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Hour. Yes. Good. Uh, questions on uh, someone else? Hour. Our teacher drinks coffee. Okay, good. Uh, let me continue. We still have 10 minutes. 
write five sentences using different adverbs of frequency. Escríbanme, no cinco, pero escríbanme una oración por el tiempo. For tomorrow, you can, you can write five para que tengamos más para practicar. She is a student from Monday to Friday. What will repeat that again? She is a student from Monday to Friday. What is the adverse of frequency? ¿Dónde está el adverbio de frecuencia que usted me está agregando? De estos. Um, no, no la agregué en ninguna de esas. Solo hice la oración. Pero la puede agregar, la lo puede agregar en esa oración. Okay. ¿A dónde la va a agregar? Uh, she usually, 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 she usually, study from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. Very good. Usually, that is from Monday to Friday. <clears throat> I often exercise in the morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I often exercise in the morning. Okay, very good. Yeah, good, good example. I usually... I, oh. mm -hmm. I usually... I usually... I usually just sleep at 5 p.m. every day. Okay, I usually sleep at 5 p.m. Okay. I sometimes go to the go to pupusa's place. I sometimes go to the pupusa's place. Okay. Good. What else? What are another examples that you may have? Tell, tell me another example. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. I usually go running on Saturday in the morning. Okay, very good. I usually go running on Saturday in the morning. Very good. Yeah, very good. Okay. How often do you eat fast food for lunch? Okay, it's una pregunta. How often do you eat fast food for lunch? How often? Huh? I hardly ever eat fast, fast food for lunch. Okay. And that will be my answer. Okay. My telephone never rings. Okay, good. Natalie, thank you. I always put more my Okay, try to write more exercises for tomorrow. We're going to have another activity with this type of this type of exercises tomorrow. Have them ready. Now we're going to work in the in the activity number six. En la actividad número seis, en la tarea número seis. Okay, go to your platform. Vayan a la plataforma, please. Tomorrow we're going to continue practicing adverse of frequency.
So for now, go to to what 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 number the exercise? Exercise the exercise six. Okay. Mm. Okay. Me carga, teacher. Me carga. No. No, 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 a las seis. Multiple choice. Select the correct answer. Which one do you think that is the correct? How seldom, how often, and how many do you go to the dentist? Tarea seis. How? How often? How often do you go to the dentist? <clears throat> okay, what about number two? She never, always. she every day, always. or she always? She always. Always. She always. Number three, my doctor doesn't. Usually. Sometimes. Usually or, or always or sometimes? sometimes? Usually. My doctor doesn't usually smoke. Okay. The quest, we're going to see if that is correct. I am always on time or I am, I always am on time or I don't am on time. Which one will be? I always. Me always. I am always. 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 Number five. How often do you go to the beach? I never go to the beach. I rarely or I usually. Usually. I usually. I usually, because it says I love it. Yeah. Okay, Sam. Okay, good. All of them are correct. That is a way that you may have all of them, okay? Do you have questions? Tienen alguna pregunta about that? No. No questions so far? Okay, let me read, let me see the score. Let me see your scores. Muy bien, algunos ya me, ya me ya terminaron eh, eh, toda la semana, toda la sección 2. Ok, Manuel, usted me debe de la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Dos. Veo que no, tiene 60. No voy por la 4 ya. No. Tiene tres hechos de la semana pasada y de esta semana oh, todavía no tiene ninguna. Ok, teacher, ya mañana la verdad. Ok, please. Porque ahorita voy a mandar las notas de la semana pasada. Voy a, voy a, voy a pasar las notas de ustedes a, al reporte. Selena, you have 80%. Me le faltó una de la semana pasada. 
Okay. Okay, te verifico. Gracias. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Let me see who else. Okay. Janira. Um, en su caso, le faltan todas las de la semana pasada, Janira. Si necesita ayuda, me dice, okay? I'm here to help you. Estaba buscando el enlace para entrar a la plataforma, pero no, no encuentro acá en los mensajes, dicho. En el correo que le mandaron a inicio de módulo. There you may have it. Ahí está entonces. Uh -huh. Yes. En ese correo. Yes. Gracias. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for your participation here this in this class. <clears throat> See you tomorrow. Y please, los que no han terminado la plataforma, please do it. La semana actualícense o anivelense con las tareas hasta las seis. No dejemos que se nos acumule porque después no queremos trabajar cuando sabemos que tenemos muchas eh, que probablemente van a sentir que, que tienen que dedicarle mucho tiempo. Por eso le, le doy los últimos cinco minutos para terminarla, ¿ok? Que son bien fáciles. Okay. Así no se les acumula. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. See tomorrow. you tomorrow at the same time. Take care, okay? Have a good night. Good night, good teacher. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, friends. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night.